Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So the countdown to the honeymoon has officially started. It is less than a week away. I can't wait, I'll be honest, I'm still yet to book two of the days of this trip in. Two of the days I still don't have an actual hotel for because we've been so busy and I keep putting it off looking because I'm just, I've just been so busy. I've not had the headspace to look and find a hotel. And I'm like, do you know what? There'll definitely be a hotel that we can choose last minute. I keep putting it off, I need to choose. I'm thinking that I'm gonna book the Banyan tree. It's right in like the jungle, really built up area. Um, and obviously we've never been to Bali before. So we kind of want to try out like everything. And that sort of side of Bali is something I've seen a lot of that like jungly area. I kind of want to experience that as well as like the other side of the island, which, or the other type of area, which is either, from what I think it's either rice fields, that rice fields jungle, and then the sea, the ocean, that sort of thing. And we're doing that, we're going to raffles. So we get the ocean views and the ocean vibes there. So I thought for the other two days, let's go kind of inland and do something that's really much more foresty. So I just need to book it, I just need to book it. So that's on my list of things I need to do today. Uh, but equally, I have a number of things that I need to shoot today. However, I have been, I'm gonna get ready with you as I chat you through everything. I've been really loving my skin recently, like loving it. I've just been paying a lot of attention to it and I've really amped up my skincare routines and my cream makeup routines. This is a paid for advertorial with Lumine. Lumine, as you guys know, I mean, I've used them for years and they specialize in these really gorgeous liquid bronzers, liquid highlights and liquid blushes. And they are like their key core products. And these products could not be more perfect for that glowy glass skin look. And so I'm gonna kind of show you how I do my kind of makeup routine on a daily using Lumine. I have a whole host of brand new products that they've sent me, but in honesty, I don't really need these. I have, I mean, it's really wonderful of them. It means I can put these in my backup area, but I have them all in here. I have them in my makeup collection at all times. And I've used them for years, as you guys know. So it's not, this isn't brand new information. Um, but yeah, I already have them in here, so I'm gonna show you. But they have also launched, which again is already in my skincare drawer, but I've got my brand new one here. This is their brand new, brand new skincare product. I love the packaging. This is their Triple Glow Radiance Elixir. And in fact, I was speaking to Bryony, my, um, my colleague Bryony, the other day. She was saying how obsessed she has become with this product too. This is beautiful. Again, if you're after that very glowy finish underneath makeup, any of these Luminaire products are just the absolute dream. They're packed with so many brilliant ingredients that are gonna add to very glowy, healthy skin. It has vitamin C and D. So not only is it adding glow, it'll also be helping the skin and any blemishes and any pigmentation that you might have just to really help resolve any of those issues in the skin. But like all Luminae products, this also contains lots of beautiful finish ingredients. So cloudberry is an ingredient you'll see in a lot of the Luminae products. I had the opportunity once in Finland to go and pick cloudberries and they're just cutest little orange berries that you find in deep woodlands. So this contains cloudberry stem cell extract and also ferulic acid. And I mean, this on the box is all 100% of the people who trialed said their skin looks more radiant and youthful. This is like a supercharged serum. Put it on before your moisturizer, specifically in the day, I think, because that's when you want to be super duper glowy, but at the same time, this is going to help overnight too, to give you more plumpness, to moisturize, to really super hydrate the skin, and give you that glow from within too. So overall, with the continued usage, you're going to find plumper, more supple skin, smoother skin, more glowy, hydrate, like super intensely hydrated skin. And as you can see, my skin is now prepped and beautiful and glowy, ready for the next products. Over the top though, I am just gonna add some of the Glow Moisturizer because why not add even more glow? And just because that is a serum and it's nice to also put a moisturizer to seal the top of that. To lock it in, oh, honestly, if you could just feel how smooth that is now. Gorgeous! Hey, I'm just going to use the, oh, this is gonna be so light. Just using a little bit of the Lumine concealer. Just using a touch of another concealer as well. It's a little bit darker. I'm just gonna blend those over top. I've just really been enjoying only using concealer, really. 
as base recently or um, I've been using very glowy serums. I have a little bit of SPF in them too. I've just realised I'm not putting any SPF. Okay, I'll let myself off this one day. Hello darling, can you not make it in? Usually, always, always wear your SPF. Okay, so I have a little food for thought that I thought I'd mention with you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit recently, actually. It all stemmed from, oh, by the way, sorry. I'm just gonna now use the Lumine Liquid Bronzer in the shade Summer Glow onto the back of my hand. I'm just zooming you in ever so slightly. So now I'm putting on the liquid bronzer. I always apply it to my hand first and then use a brush to kind of stipple in and then stipple that onto my face just because then you get real control over how much you're putting on onto your face. Similar to, again, with all Luminae products, they all contain some amazing skincare. So this has Nordic Red Algae Extract, which is an ingredient for hydration. Then it contains Willow Herb Flower Extract, which is an antioxidant that's so gonna help to add radiance and brightness to the skin. And it also contains Vitamin E which is gonna help protect the skin overall from free radicals. And that's the same for inside the blushes, inside, there you go, inside of the highlight, just getting out my highlight drawer, and also the same for, the same for the bronzers too. All Lumine products, by the way, can be found at John Lewis, Marks and Spencer's, and also Look Fantastic, which I will link down below. Anyway, so let me carry on. I've recently become really quite interested in watching clips and podcasts from Alex Earl, uh, Madeline Argy, and also call her daddy. I think I've mentioned it before. Anyway, it was a, it was just in the car the other day when we were we we're on the way to Brighton and because I was driving, Alex let me put on the podcast that I wanted to listen to and obviously he didn't want to listen to it, so bless him for letting me have my way. Halfway through this Alex Hill podcast where she's talking about her university days at Miami University, which was only like last year. She's probably 10 years younger than I am. And Alex sort of turned to me and was like, are you, are you enjoying this? Are you interested in this? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I was, in, I was enjoying it. And I actually got thinking like, why am I enjoying this? You know, these girls 10 years younger, they're technically they're kind of probably in a different place in life than I am. And yet it got me thinking like, why do I kind of relate to these girls? And why do I love to hear what they have to say about their, you know, about their lives and and going out drinking and all these new guys that they're meeting and and I think the reason is that as much as I'm you know 30 34 now that's right isn't it 34 now I don't feel 34 I probably feel 24 at most and it's also another one of the reasons why I think I've mentioned this before but I I'm not planning on having any children by choice and a lot of that is because I don't feel, I don't feel like a grown up. I don't feel like I, I would ever be ready for that. I'm 34 and I still don't feel ready. Like my mum had me at 29. I, I can't comprehend the idea of me having a child now, never mind five years ago. And I'm, you know, I'm 34 now, which technically used to be older for women having babies. And it's fantastic that now a lot more women, so many more women, the majority of women actually are having babies older which is amazing because women are obviously taking a lot more control over their lives, their careers, what they, and a lot more of what they want to do before they have babies, which is fab. But I guess it got me thinking that actually, I feel like I almost relate more to these girls in their like mid twenties that want to go out and kind of have fun and are living like child free lives than I do to women on my feed who actually share a lot of their children online and where they're going with their kids and, what they're doing with their kids. And I must admit, as someone who doesn't have children, that doesn't relate to me as much. And I don't enjoy that sort of content the same, which, which makes sense, I don't have kids, you know? That is for people who have kids, who want advice, who want education, who want ideas on what to do with their kids. So I'm just gonna go into um, the blush now in Pink Blossom. But well, they've just also brought out this brand new shade, which is Bright Bloom, which is a little bit more, a little bit more pinky also. Slightly also coral. But I mean, this is looking so pretty. Look how pretty this is looking. Yeah, I, I just feel like I relate so much more to these younger girls and living these really fun, exciting lives. They're fun, free, carefree. Um, you know, I'm almost living like vicariously through them. Don't get me wrong, I'm extremely happy. Beautiful husband, wonderful life, etc. Et but yeah, I just feel like I relate a lot more to these girls and 
I love seeing what they're doing. It's just fun content to consume. That's the conclusion that I came to. Who inspires me and things. And I guess it is these younger girls. I mean, even like, I think Emrata is younger than me. Love Emrata. I mean, she's amazing. And although she is a parent, she doesn't share any of that online. She shares very much about, you know, where she's going, what she's doing. And I guess that's what inspires me the most. And that's why I enjoy that sort of content, I guess. Oh, sorry, by the way, I just put on, I just put on the highlight. This is a highlight in golden hour. I mean, look at this, this glow going on is pretty insane. I'm just going back to the liquid bronzer now in the shade, yeah, I said before, didn't I? In summer glow. And I'm just gonna run some of that through my eyelids. Yeah, but for any of you who haven't been here before and, and don't know, like I, I filmed a video a couple of years back where I mentioned to everyone that I, I won't be having children by choice. You know, I think it's just quite an important topic for women to also talk about when they don't want to, because there is such pressure on women to feel like they have to have children. You know, I remember when I first spoke about this and so many women were like, thank you, I really appreciate someone speaking about this because you just don't really see many women talking about the fact they wanna be child free by choice. And still there's a lot of people who, I mean, now and again, I get it where people go, what? You don't want to have kids. In fact, someone the other day said to me, What's up, what are you doing all this for then? If you're not going to have kids, like why are you making all this money and things? Like what are you going to do with it? And I was like, I'm going to spend it. I'm going to enjoy my life and spend my own money and spend it on my own family that I already have. Like you don't, <laughs> I thought it was just, it's it's interesting because it was also that was a young that was a young girl who said that too, who's obviously been brought up with this idea of you know you earn money for your future family, um, and and you know what that's absolutely fine. I'm not not dissing that. It was just interesting to see that perspective from someone so young actually, and I was like, wow, okay, it's it's a perspective I haven't seen in a while from you know from a young person. But as soon as I obviously said that, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go on lots of nice holidays and enjoy my life with my husband. She was like, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, and I think she kind of understood a little bit more, but I think she was still a little bit perplexed. It's just not, it's just not for everybody. You know, not everyone wants to have babies and that's, that's fine. I mean, Alex are more than happy as the three of us, me, me, him, and our baby Bo. Bo is our dog, just in case any of you are new here. Bo is the love of our lives. He's just there, having a little sleepy. And I guess for any of you guys who are going through anything like this, and you want to be child free by choice, and you're struggling with people's opinions, just know that there are a lot, a lot, a lot of women out there who are in the exact same position and aren't that interested in having babies either, truly. There are a lot more than you think. I was astounded. I had tens, I'm not exaggerating here, tens of thousands of comments and messages about this from women all saying, I, I also don't want to have children. It really surprised me. I didn't expect that. And what was also wonderful was that I didn't get any hate. That as far as I saw, I didn't get any hate. It was wonderful. It was an actual discussion. You know, there's no hatred on either side. There was no one having to go at each other. It was just, it was really respectful and that I loved that. I loved how respectful it was. And there's so many wonderful mothers saying, I adore my kids, I absolutely love my kids, but I don't know if I would have them again. Um, there were other people saying, you know, I again, love my children, but I get it's not for everyone. You know, there's everyone just giving really lovely dis dis discussion topics and that's, that's why this community is so great. For anyone who is worried about that at the moment and maybe going through um, some things about wanting wanting to be child free and maybe you're struggling with your partner's feelings or family feelings. Yeah, I'll link, I'll link that video again below because it was a few years ago now, but I feel like I managed to um, get out exactly what I wanted to say in that video. So it's quite concise, I think. Um, my makeup's almost done. I'm not gonna do too much more because I'm gonna be shooting um, a campaign soon, which is for sleepwear. And so I don't wanna have like a full massive amount of makeup on. I'm probably just gonna do my brows and a brown mascara here. And then that is gonna be it. But yeah, those Illuminate products I wanted to mention, I will leave them linked down below for you guys. Uh, look fantastic if you would like 
um, to get some in your collection. But honestly, I so recommend it. Just having the bronzer, the highlight and the blush in your collection, I think you'll find yourself using them constantly. And you can also mix them in with other products that you've got. Um, say if you want to mix this in with your moisturiser to make a super glowy moisturiser, um, or if you want to mix these two together to make a super glowy blush, they're... Um, or if you want to mix this in with your moisturiser to make a more bronzed moisturiser. They're just really fantastic skincare-y products. I will continue. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts too on that on that topic. I always like talking with you guys about topics that kind of are really close to my heart like this. That aren't just about makeup or about fashion. And they're actually more about lifestyle and like really important life decisions. <laughs> so I'm literally about to finish up. I've got everything else on my face and I was just spraying my face with this. And seeing as I am doing an ad right now for Luminae, I wanted to show you. This is one of my favourite products. This is a setting spray, Dewy Glow setting spray. I mean, look at this glow. So I put this on and then I always fan it just to help set it down. But not only does this set, it then just adds this sheen of like an extra added glow to the skin. And it's what carries on. Like I've literally just powdered, put this on. And it's like now I'm super glowy again. So just a little bit off of there. And that's perfect. I'm like uber, uber glowy now. I'm so happy with it. This looks so pretty. The perfect natural. Um, can we talk about this? This. Wow. Yeah. I'll leave all the products down below. I feel great now. I really like this top too, by the way, the colour of this top. It's like um, a grey melange, but a bit lilac-y toned. And it's just, a, it's a very sheer cashmere. I'll leave this link down below too. This is from Intimissimi. So this is a Lumine event that I was very proud to host. My sister-in-law, Chantelle Floral Design, did all of the florals for the event and they were perfectly matched to all of the Lumine products. So the brand new serum, the pigmented complexion products, everything looked so beautifully laid out. I could not have been more proud to host this event. And it was so nice. All of the ladies that were invited along hadn't really ever tried Lumine before which I was quite amazed by, but it was the fact that they were all so excited when they saw the products, they couldn't wait to try them. It was really wonderful to introduce this brand that I've loved for years to so many of my friends in the industry. It was incredible food, beautiful ambiance, honestly, one of the most beautiful events I've ever been to. It was just the most beautiful day. Hey guys, welcome to a gorgeous Saturday at home. <laughs> Hot chill. It's a beautiful day today actually, but it's got really, really cold for the first time. In fact, let me just check what the temperature is. Temperature today, 12 degrees. So it's actually gotten cold. Hi! Hey baby boy. Hi! Always gotta be the star of the show. There you are. You, do you know what you love sitting up here and looking out the windows at the back garden? And usually when the sun's further up over, it's a bit later now, but usually there's lots of light on here. And he, like, he likes to sit and bask in the sunshine. Anyway, I have my autumnal pumpkin coloured Michael Kors roll neck on, which means one thing, I'm feeling very autumnal today. And I want to get the house prepped for autumn. So I thought that for the remainder of this vlog, that I would get the house ready for autumn and do a cozy autumnal vlog with lots of cute autumnal ideas. That's what I thought I would do. I've just been doing a little bit of work. We've also had our wonderful gardener, Hester Round. She's just finished off the garden. So that's looking amazing. Oh my gosh. You should see the size of the carrot we just pulled out of the beds. Could not believe this when Hester pulled this up. First of all, the stem. What? Honestly, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Look at the size of the carrot! That's my head. It's really absolutely insane. Like, look, that's the size of it. That is one flipping massive carrot. So, what I thought I would do, I mean, this one was also somewhat large, but I mean, look at the difference in size. <laughs> that's like the average carrot. I'm gonna pull up some more carrots and create something autumnal with some carrots. I'm thinking either a lovely spicy, um, carrot soup or a spiced carrot cake. <sighs> Sorry, I've really got a chill. Or some kind of spiced carrot cake with um, a cream cheese frosting, like a banana bread, but a carrot bread. Is that a thing? Like a carrot loaf? Carrot cake loaf? 
I think that's what I might do. There's some beautiful lilies at the moment. These are my Arena Flowers lilies. Arena, well, my Arena Flowers subscription. A couple of them have just died off, but they're looking so, so pretty. And look at this light. This autumnal light coming in here. The house is looking so neat and tidy. I have been on a cleaning binge. I'm just so happy at the moment. We've got a few days in between being home from Fashion Month and going straight into the honeymoon. And so I have been cleaning like a crazy lady and tidying everything. But these last little bits to make the house a bit more autumnal, I thought I'd save it and do it on camera. And we can do it together. So yes, so first of all, Every time I wear this, I know you guys seem to love it. Um, this is a little Michael Kors jumper. It was out last season. It might still be out, I'm not too sure. It's just a perfect pumpkin colour. So I thought I'd put it in today for this. First things first. So I've already done my makeup today. Very lightweight makeup with all of my Illumine products. I'm gonna put a little touch of the bright bloom on my cheeks. A little extra pizzazz. This is the most beautiful tone to it. And a little bit of something on my cheeks. Um, let's go for something a little deeper for a scent today. I have these gorgeous wind scents, both of which are so deep and beautiful. It will make me feel a little bit more autumnal. So I'm thinking maybe this one, Rose Saffron. There's also one called La La. La, la 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 something. Anyway, it almost smells like marshmallows. Oh gosh, it's amazing, like rose marshmallows. I'm gonna put on some of this. This is rose saffron, as you can imagine. Rose saffron, slight spice to it, but that spiciness is good. It's gonna make me feel all autumnal. Perfect. So for today's outfit, like I said, I'm wearing the perfect autumnal piece. <laughs> and then the jeans, that, the jeans that I just haven't taken off now for a while, but I'm just absolutely in love with them. Um, and then my Saint Laurent belt. So I'm nice and cozy, cozy, ready for the day. Whilst I'm about to walk past them, I absolutely have to show you my new pair of shoes. These are a revelation. These are the brand new Jimmy Choo and Jean-Paul Gaultier collaboration heels. Um, there is a number of pieces in the collection. I think there's probably about 12 or so pairs of different shoes. These are unreal. I never usually get a kitten heeled shoe, but these are so magnificent and I feel like I'll have these forever. Down this side they say Jimmy Choo and then on the other heel it says Jean-Paul Gaultier. It has all of the beautiful embellishments equally on the backs and the bottoms. Jimmy Choo and Jean-Paul Gaultier. And the thing I actually love the most about them is this kind of squared back to the heel. I just love them. I think they're just absolutely perfect and they look stunning with these jeans today. Just showing you them now. So if you want to get your hands on them, I'd, I'd do it soon because obviously it's a limited collection and they're absolutely out of this world. Beautiful autumnal light once again coming through into the bedroom. Wonderful. This is one room that I have already done my, my autumnal <laughs> tidy up of um, to get it ready for Alex's friends coming over tonight. Um, had a lovely little refresh, clean everything up. We also had a desk here. So this is where we used to have our office in this area. Now because we have the office downstairs, I got rid of the desk. Pulled that downstairs, moved it into the garage. Um, we will sell it later. Um, but otherwise, just given lots of room for this beautiful little armchair to have its place. Again, this is sofa.com, which matched the boucle sofa, but I just love this in here. It's so big that it just nicely fills that corner. Um, some lovely autumnal florals in a vase. I think that vase I got from Dalesford, potentially, actually. Yeah, I mean, this room feels quite autumnal with the tones, especially with the artwork and everything else. It's so lovely, again, beautiful autumn light just flooding in. Wonderful, so this is this room, all, all beautiful and finished. Okay, I think the first thing I need to do, hello, darling. <laughs> first thing I need to do is light this fire. I think I want to have my first fire of the season. It is quite chilly, and I think it would just be wonderful to have a nice roaring fire in here. Don't you agree? Agreed. Let's build a fire because this fire is so big and because it hasn't been lit for a long time, um, almost a year, it's going to be very cold in here and so it's going to need some serious kindling to heat this thing up to give it any form of a chance. So let's see what I can do. It can be a little bit sensitive, this fire. 
The one in the hallway, the five we have in the hallway, that lights like a dream, like immediately. Whereas this one can be a little bit harder to get roaring, but uh, I'm gonna give it a real fighting chance with a lot of kindling and a number of fire lighters. Let's see what we can do here. I've had to shut the door because it's already fuming too much smoke into the room that I don't want. These are logs from a brand called Lecto Fuels, I think. Yeah, I think so. They're not like mega cheap, but what's good about them is that they're uh, sawdust that's so tightly packed in. And as they burn, they kind of like elongate out and they burn so hot. We find we use less wood when we use these and it's boiling, so they work pretty well. Right, this is a bit I hate because I'm a bit scared. So. I do this so tentatively because this is burning so much cleaner now, so it's not smoking, which is great. No, <laughs> this is what I mean. Not that. Oh God. I'm very good at this bit. He goes that way, you go that way, and you're on there. <laughs> okay. Freaks me out of it. Earlier I saw a mouse in here, so I'm hoping it doesn't pop up and scare me again. There's my autumnal bouquet. Let's give this a little move around than to say if anything is inside of this pot please escape now please that would be great so my two autumnal pieces i have my autumnal wreath which i got a number of years ago and it still looks as good as new it is just stunning it's so perfect i just absolutely love it i will uh leave down below where i got this from completely faux obviously but it's just stunning it's huge. Whilst this did cost me about 300, 350, I think, when I first bought it, it'll last me like forever. So it's totally, totally worth the money. And then this again is from the same friend of foe. I think it's called Friend of Foe. Um, she also made me this, this uh, piece as well. Again, it was like 300 pounds. And in fact, I've broken this up. This was a bigger bouquet, but it's hard to fit into anything because it's so big. And so I broke it up into a number of different smaller bouquets. Yeah, I'll just need to play around a little bit with the composition of this, but I'm gonna put this back into the lounge. Um, in fact, no, maybe I'll put it into, maybe I'll put it into here to make this a bit more autumnal. Move my spring vibes out a little bit and bring in the autumn vibes. I like how um, crazy and whimsical it looks. It kind of, kind of adds to it. So I will keep it like that. I like it, I like it a lot. I've just been out to the shops. Let me top up. Let's take a second. <laughs> I've been out to the shops to buy everything for my healthier banana carrot cake recipe that I think will be super lovely and autumnal and get me in the mood. It's from a website called ambitiouskitchen.com and it is a healthier carrot cake banana bread with cinnamon cream cheese frosting. All right, so preheat oven. I'm gonna use some uh, gluten-free flour. One and a half cups. Half a cup oats, half a cup. One teaspoon of baking soda. I've bought a brand new one because she said, if your baking soda is older than three months, then it might not work. The same, so, bought a new one. A quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I mind a little bit more than that. I like nutmeg. Cinnamon, one teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Do you know what? I might also add to this maybe ginger. Colour of ginger. Mix together. Mashed bananas, coconut sugar, egg and vanilla. Right, two medium, very ripe bananas. I'm going to do three small bananas because that's all that I have. Mashed. Half a cup coconut sugar. I'm going to do half a cup of honey. Okay, that's one hell of a lot of honey, but um, yeah, definitely ask for that. Who am I to question this recipe? One large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, add in the applesauce. One quarter cup of applesauce, almost a whole thing. That's gonna make it moist. One half cup of shredded carrots. My beautiful carrot here. Cleaned up my space a little bit, feeling a bit better about this. I can't stand it when it's really, really messy. Okay, so I've done all of my carrot. That took me a while. 
even waited for someone to bow food and he's absolutely loved it. Third cup of almond or coconut milk. I'm gonna use oat. Also slightly winging it here, so I'm hoping for the best, I suppose. And then third cup of chopped pecans or walnuts. I'll chop up some of these again, I guess. Yeah, about that'll do. Gently fold in the melted coconut oil. Check that we don't have any lumps of flour. Yeah, that's really good. And then I just need to put in, fold in the melted coconut oil. Two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Pour into the prepared loaf pan and bake for 40 to 55 minutes. I have these reusable greaseproof paper sheets that I have for ages. I'm wishy washy this around just so it's oiled up a bit. Into a Zoloft tin. I'm really excited about this. It's meant to stay super moist because of all of the wet ingredients in there, like the apple sauce and everything. It's meant to, meant to keep it nice. Oh my gosh, that tastes good. Mmm. Spices really come through. I really didn't think I'd had enough in there. And bake four to fifty-five minutes. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So we're like half past eleven o'clock. I'll let you know how this goes. Glass of wine, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I am, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna make a pumpkin spice latte. Don't you worry, it's just not quite the time for it at 7 p.m. Pitted olives and garlic. We're gonna have ourselves a party. Mm, 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 mm. Oh God, garlic, oh this is so good, isn't it? We are ready. Nice little loaf, smells great. Well, what I really wanna do is try it before putting cream cheese on it because I kind of want to discover if it's actually like delicious without smothering it in more things, you know what I mean? I kind of want this to be really delish without the extra. Oh, it's really moist. It's absolutely delicious. And I have a horrible feeling that needs like five minutes more. You're probably okay. I'm not sure if that's if it's just the moistness of it. Maybe it's just moist. Maybe it doesn't need longer. I'm gonna dice with it. I'm gonna put it in for like five minutes longer. In which case it needs 55 minutes at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. But that is absolutely div like divine. That might actually be better than my banana bread. And that is saying something. Who's a beautiful boy? Can you smell the cake? Can you smell that cake? He's definitely not a baby. He's definitely like over three, but Still not big. I'm having the nicest night with just this fire on. It's just now down to some embers and it's absolutely boiling hot. So I don't think I'm gonna put another log on it, but it's been so nice. I'm just chilling in this room. So neon, perfect piece, scented candle. So lovely. I'm gonna get that out. I'm kind of just looking for the more autumnal ones here. Oh my gosh, that's, it's just so good. It's a bit messy now on the front, but smoke. By Evermore London, God, that really needs to clean. They're really beautiful candles. And that smells really, really great, like a super deep, rich smell. One of my favorite scents ever is the Maison Margiela scents. Jazz Club, At The Barbers, and By The Fireplace. These are some of my absolute favorite. I currently ha don't have any out. So I'm going to get out a By The Fireplace. I think more so than like the biscuity smells. That to me is autumn into winter, whereas the autumnal feels for me is more this kind of like burning log fire, autumn leaves. Straight away, it's just like, whew. They're so great. And they do come with a, a topper for them as well, a little lid, but that is the smell that I just want all of the rooms to smell like at this time of year. So I'll get that out. Um, I also still have, in this room, I always have my Dr. Vrange Oud Nobile. And I do have a new refill for it. I've got a 500 ml refill for it. So I might just fill this up entirely. So it's completely filling the room again. But like I say, I always leave that there. Um, and then I also, always have this on display. It's a by the fireplace, made some Margiela scent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and spritz all the pillows um, and just give the whole room this by the fireplace scenting. And I'm gonna light this as well in here. I think that's good. I think those are my more autumnal ones that I wanna bring out. 
See, smoke, smoke is a little bit like by the fireplace, but this is more like vetiver leathers. Whereas by the fireplace is like burning wood and chestnut, like, oh, so good. I also still have this incredible Duptique set. I took two of these out to put in my room in the office. I'm just having a look and I don't think any of these are necessarily deep, rich autumnal -y tones. So I'm gonna leave them there actually. Leave them still in there. Perfect. I wasn't filming. <laughs> I accidentally got to press film. I've just topped up this Dr. Vrange with more of the oil, um, which was so naughty of me. I definitely should have just done it over sink and I didn't. And then I've just dropped a few droplets. Just, if you ever do this, don't allow anything to sit on wood or any surface for that matter, because it will, it will ruin it. Take my word for it. Most surfaces I have these on now. People have topped them up without realising how damaging they can be. And um, yeah, it's ruined some of my surfaces. I always have it on top of a mat anyway, like just in case. I definitely don't want to ruin this beautiful wood sideboard. And then like I said, I'll leave that there. But I'm just going to, I'm going to disperse my other candles around. Here's my beautiful new Diptyque wick trimmer. Trim this down. Sit it on here. This room now smells absolutely heavenly, to be honest. It's gonna smell even better after more of this. Um, do you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do the topping as indulgent as it would be to put, to put like cream cheese all over this delicious loaf. I mean, look how delicious. Um, I, don't, I don't personally think it needs it. It's so good on its own. It's got a bit of a crunchy top and like a super moist gooey centre. That to me looks so good. If I wanted to make this into a cake, I would put Philadelphia over the top and do a proper cream cheese frosting. But I just want like a loaf, like a delicious loaf to have. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Honestly, this recipe is heaven. Oh, the vibes in here. Honestly, if you could just smell how good it smells, not only from the fire that's just been lit, this is still letting off so much heat heat even though it's just embers right now and just with like the low lighting and my beautiful dog and now the smell of this this the smell of the spiced carrot cake like in the air oh what a wonderful little evening i'm having the boys are out for boys night they're off i'm so warm they're gone having a boys night at local restaurants so i'm in, in on my own i've had a pasta dish with some prawns and then i've had a little bit of the um the banana carrot bread. I'm gonna go get a bath. That's next to my autumnal list. Okay, cozy night in. Alex is back, so I am going to retire to the bathroom. Right, I am going to uh, set this up for a nice autumnal evening. well and truly romanticizing my life today. I'm just letting it run. I'm gonna get into this bath and just have a really nice chilled out soak. And I'll come back to you tomorrow with more autumnal vibes. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Genuinely could not have chosen a more fitting week to film this video about autumnalness because today is the first day of the year. Okay, first day of the second half of the year that we've put on the heating because it's suddenly completely dropped in temperature. It has gone completely way down. Like two days ago, it was about 20 degrees. I remember walking outside in like a little t-shirt and being like, oh, it's so warm. And then last night it dropped to like three degrees and now it's like five degrees. So we have the heating on. I even have this little guy on. In fact, I'm gonna turn this off because this eats electricity. In fact, I've literally just emailed a company because I want to get some crittle doors put across this opening here. I've been meaning to do it all year. And of course, typically I leave it until the very last minute when it's flipping freezing to then put in some doors. So annoying. But anyway, I want to put like four crittle doors across here so that we can block out the cold from the orangery. And then in summer, obviously we can push back the doors and open it up again. But I think it would just really, really help. I'm gonna get on with that. Anyway, it is Sunday morning. All the boys are still here. Boys night is continuing into boy day and um, they're all just on the PlayStation pretty much, honestly. It's kind of nice though. I know some women don't like their uh, partner playing on um, 
PlayStation all the time, but it does keep them uh, busy. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm gonna make myself, let me put you on top of the grinder over here. Um, sorry, the, the house is looking a bit of a mess because obviously the boys have been doing the thing. There's whiskey out and I need to do the dishwasher, etc. Um, but yeah, I have, my, my labels came off this, like what the hell? <laughs> Is it like, is it like that sugary that it's just like disintegrated the paper? Um, I've got pumpkin spice, ASMR. This is what's left of my banana bread. My banana carrot bread. Um, really delicious. Just a little update on that. I would definitely, definitely cook this on 180 degrees for at least an hour, at least an hour. Cause it gets, it's very, very, very moist. It's almost a bit of a soggy base and I needed to have done it just a little bit longer. It's still delicious, I don't care. I'm gonna have some more. And I'm gonna actually whip up a bit of a topping for it in a second to have it my brekkie. But yeah, I would definitely do it a little bit longer. Um, just give me one sec. I just wanna tidy up the place. Let's go to a fast forward. That's better. Just gonna get it clean and then I can focus, focus on making my coffee. Okay, right, let's make a coffee. Then I got my little Lamazoko rolly, rolly, rolly. Be like, roll it on it like this and it makes it all flat. Then I take my little, my little presser, press, little press, <laughs> le machine. Let's do this. Building. Okay, coffee sorted. Let's do a cap full of pumpkin. Okay, well, it's probably too much, but let's see. One cap full. We're gonna finish this bad boy off with a little spattering of cinnamon. Let's make a piece of carrot banana bread. A little cream cheese frosting topping just to put on my piece. Add some sugar or powdered sugar. I'm gonna do um, one, two little teaspoons worth of uh, ice and sugar. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of cinnamon, a sprinkle of nutmeg. A little tiny whisk. We are going to take a piece of my carrot banana bread. A lovely little chunk of voila in the microwave for about 15 seconds. We're going to add a little dollop. Okay, a big dollop. Big dollop. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I like to like, when I'm eating something, I like to eat it in a tidy kitchen. Cinnamon sprinkle over the top. Don't mind me, living my best autumnal life. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here. Once I do so, I will likely watch Susie, Amelia, Carly, Alana's vlogs and, um, Enjoy my morning. Mm, mm, mm.